Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a review of Higurashi, episode 23. Okay, so, believe it or not, I actually have it, a couple of issues with this episode. Yeah, I know, right? It's rare for me to complain about anything else in the series except for the animation, the art, and the and occasionally the music. But yeah, I do, and they're not things that ruin this episode for me, and this was a very good episode nonetheless. Um, I'm still really surprised at how many. Uh, it's really surprised I have other things to, to uh, mention in this episode that I didn't quite like. What happened in this episode was very simple, like usual. It was pretty much just more set up for really what's going to be going down later on in this arc. Okay. And by later on in this arc, I mean in the last three episodes. Um, you know, because yeah, there's only three episodes left in this arc. It's a really short arc, only five episodes, so. Yeah, probably the second shortest arc in the ser in the series, I think. But anyways, though, uh, Rena commits two murders in this episode. She murders her, uh, well, would-be stepmother because she finds out exactly what her stepmother, w w what that woman, Arena, I believe her name is, is trying to do, which is marry her father to get all his money and dump his ass. And she also Murray m m marries murders the uh hojo guy ba ba basically uh satoko's and uh satoshi's stepfather essentially okay which is which is interesting because because in the that one arc before it was uh keiichi who killed him but in this arc it's rena who killed him uh, uh, more obvious things that make the different arcs in the series different, you know. Um, so she murders them in her special, like, junkyard hideout, essentially. <laughs> and her friends find out about it, too. They find out about the murders when they go there to, to, to greet her. Okay. And, yeah, now, this brings me to the two thing, biggest things in this episode that I had an issue with. First off, I don't like their reaction when they found out that her best friend committed murder. That being said, I do like the, their loyalty because they said they'd always stick by her no matter what, even if she is a murderer. Okay, that's fine. I would probably be the same way if I'm really loyal to my friends, which I am. Okay, that's perfectly fine, but I think they should have acted more shocked than they did. Okay, because I'm, I can't even blame the dubbing here because even their facial expressions didn't look, to sh look as shocked as I thought they were going to or the, as I thought they would have or the dialogue that they were saying, you know. I mean, I think the characters got more shocked over things earlier on in the series, so really, I just think it's a fall on the actual series here. And secondly, the the pacing that led up to that scene I didn't like either, okay? Because they just appeared there and already they knew about it. I think there should have been more, more time to have a scene in which they actually found out about it. And then they reacted to it. So really, I think they could have taken that pointless scene of them trying to play Mahjong out of the episode, which they didn't even get to do, by the way, because they were out of pieces, so it was completely fucking pointless, and focused more on leading up to that scene, and then making that, that and then, they, of course, they could have made that, the actual scene, a lot better. Okay, those are really my only two major complaints about this episode, and again, it didn't ruin the episode. My favorite scene in this episode, in fact, was really just the group of friends deciding to stick together, despite the fact that they know, now know that their friend, Rena is a murderer. But the thing that does that gets me is that in the last episode she said, that's not you anymore. You're happy now. Or something like that, which assumes that she's murdered in the past. Now, in previous arcs it has stated that, you know, she she's had some sort of a dark past. One thing that was real was that at her old school she went around the school with a baseball bat and smashed all the windows. I'm not sure if that's actually canon in this arc because there still are differences between this arc and all the other arcs. So I'm not really going to use that for reference. But I do remember that in the first arc, if this is canon to that, at least partially, uh, it was Mion that was basically the one, the one who was with Rena and knew about her dark past and whatnot, and she had that same dark past. So I don't know. First off, in this episode, I don't remember if it, in this arc, I don't remember if this is Mion or Shion. I mean, I know Shion was in the previous episode, but I don't know if um, 
if uh, it's Mion or Shion that was with them there. Really, um, unless they distinguish them, like take time to distinguish them, I don't fucking know. It's confusing. So, yeah, other than that, though, I didn't have any issues. Other than that, though, I think that's pretty much sums up this episode. Again, the animation, the art kind of suck, and the music during the comedic scenes, which are, or during the more slice of life ish scenes, which are in this episode, really sucks. But other than that, I really enjoyed this episode of Higurashi. It's doing a great job setting things up. I cannot wait for the last three episodes of this arc because it's really getting down to the wire here. Okay. And I'm really enjoying it so far. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.